Hey guys, it's Shane Spiel, and I'm going to show you some pretty playing on a four-string cigar box guitar. This one was made by G.S. Monroe down in Florida, and this is the guitar that is all over my album. In fact, <laughs> whenever I had the album cover made, and you can see it in the Dive Bars tour shirt, I had Matt Crunk, who did my artwork, actually uh, put the skeleton holding the same guitar. Uh, if you want the guitar, they sell them at cbgiddy.com, made by G.S. Monroe. I am in love with mine, as you can tell, I've been playing the, ha the heck out of it. Okay, this song is in the key of open G, which is G. Oh, let me give you a close-up so you know what's going on. Oh, boom, right there. It is, where's that camera? Here, G, D, G, get that in tune. G, B. There you go. So, dance. Uh, the chords are pretty simple. The world revolves and grinds its axis. And I was called to dance. I love that. I love going from the major to the minor. Um, I don't know where all the chord names are for this. Uh, that's the thing about my lessons for you guys. I teach you my tricks and cheats. I don't know how to read music. So, this song is in uh, open G. It starts with just playing all the strings and not fretting a thing. The world revolves and grinds its axis. And then it goes to here, this, this D, um, or no, what is that, a C? Yeah. <laughs> it goes to the C, which is, I use three fingers to do this, and I go to the fifth fret, move the camera right there, I go to the fifth fret, and I only put my fingers on the first string, second string, and last. I let that third string ring out, so that there's nothing fretting it. Okay? So that's C major. And then I go to C minor, which means I rearrange my fingers so that I go 5, 5, open, 4. And what I'm doing is just moving one note. I'm moving my finger from the 5th fret here to the 4th fret. I'm still fretting these two strings on the 5th fret. And it's... And it's easier for me to just move my fingers like this. Maybe you want to do your fingering where, heck, I don't know, you do your middle finger, ring finger, and pinky here. And then just put your index finger on the fourth fret on the last string and let your pinky go. For me, that's just almost like playing Twister, and I'd rather just do this. So... The world revolves and grinds its axis, and I was called to dance. Open, where you just let the strings go. They screech their brakes, they pay their taxes, and I was called to dance. And then I go to this chord. It's an A seventh, and all it is is I'm fingering the first string, second fret, second string, second fret. I'm not touching the third string again. And then the last string, second fret. So everything is going at the second fret except for the third string here. Though they shoot their spiteful glances. Move that to the fifth fret. Still I lead delightful dances. Let's see this whole thing again. The world, re the, the world revolves and grinds its axes. And I was called to dance. They screech their brakes, they pay their taxes. And I was called to dance. Though the world shoots spiteful glances, still I lead delightful dances. The world revolves and grinds its axes. And I was called to dance. That's it. That, those are the chords. Um, 
the rundown that I do in the beginning and then throughout the song is this thing that goes... Let me show you how to do that real quick. Being that this is a YouTube video, you can pause it and go back. So let me just run through this. It starts at the 12th fret. Now this guitar doesn't have fret markers on the front, but it does the side. That's where I use it from. So I'm going to start on the 12th fret. Let's do a little close-up here. 12th fret. Oh, get that back in there. Sorry. That's what happens when you're your own cameraman. Okay, I'm going to do open 12, open 12. So I am on the second string and last string on the 12th fret. And then... Go to the 10th fret. Just move that down two frets. And then open 9, open 8. Open 7, open 7. And then you're at the 5th fret. 5, 5, open 5. And then go to the minor, 5-5, five, five, open 4. And then no fretting. So it goes, here we go. That's it. Um... Went out of tune a little bit. I keep very light strings on this guitar, and it does knock it out of tune a, a bunch. Um, usually on my jug band songs, I don't mind if it goes out of tune. It acts, it adds to it. It adds. The whole album's called "Stay Primal," and the reason it's called "Stay Primal" is it's about recapturing the grit, the acoustic nastiness of a cigar box guitar. So if something went out of tune, I'd fix it. This song, I try to keep it in tune. You, you want it to be pretty. So there you go. The song is Dance. It's off of my new album, Shane Spill and the Snakes, Stay Primal. Um... You can get this album at shanespill.com. And do me a favor. If you're getting something out of this video, leave a comment. Uh, make sure you give me a like on there. And uh, share this on Facebook, too. If you play Cigar Box Guitar, share it on a Cigar Box Guitar group on Facebook or Cigar Box Nation, wherever. Uh, all those just spreads the words about this instrument. And that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to promote this stuff. Uh... See that shirt there? The one that actually has this guitar right there? You can get that shirt. You can get Scully's shirt here at uh, stubbyslide.com. That's my new site. It has a whole bunch of really cool stubby slides for cigar box guitar and uh, cool stuff. I even have, where is it? Here it is. Boom. I have the, uh, the classic Smokey cigarette pack amps there too i'll get that into that on another video but check it out stubbyslide.com uh it's about time you go and build yourself a cigar box guitar get the parts at cbgiddy.com share this on facebook subscribe to this youtube and all that whatever just keep in touch um i will talk to you soon and thank you for watching. My name's Shane Spiel. I'll see ya.